Yo, what is up, YouTube? You're back on the Mad 17 today. Actually, we got some pretty damn good content yesterday. We got a new batch of Journey Solos. Quickly, if you want to grind up those Journey Solos, you get a 90 overall Earl Thomas guaranteed at the end, plus like 100k plus coins, tons of packs, check the stats, 88 speed, 76 hit power, 86 pursuit, 90 zone, 78 tackle, and 78 man coverage. 90 overall ET for busting down those journey solos next up we got flashbacks and i'm actually excited about the flashback this time flashbacks be like super ass this year is what it is finally got a good batch of them great batch of them man griffin was cool jenkins a rack pro decker didn't care for any of these demarco miri shit with the game but let me show you guys these beasts man where are they at first up 48 hours impact forget my boy d wear baby 91 overall 84 speed 86 excel 86 zone, 89 play rank, 90 hit power, 89 pursuit, and 87 block shit, 84 speed. Damn solid on this game, but Demarcus from the Cowboys, freak athlete off the edge, kind of doing his Von Miller thing, damn near. Von's a freak, freak athlete, but Demarcus Ward probably, honestly, in my opinion, could have got 86, 87 speed. Dude was a beast in his prime, and he's still good towards the tail end of his career, putting up some of the best numbers of his career, man. Demarcus Ward flashback, impacts for the hours only. That's pretty dope. The other flashback is a Brandon Marshall, but I don't see any up under 90, 94, 89, 90. I think he's a 90. He should at least be a 91. d wear probably a Hall of Famer. Brandon Marshall, if he did have so many off-the-field issues, he's had some crazy run-ins with the police, incidents, he'd be a guaranteed Hall of Famer. I think he's like about a six, seven-time Pro Bowl. The crazy, crazy, crazy stats, man. Love me some Brandon Marshall. Now, Pax, this is odd. This is weird. We got BCA Pax. Defensive packs, probably the last week these bad boys gonna be up. I'm expecting offensive packs this weekend, tomorrow, or maybe early next week. So these packs, honestly, I don't know. I feel like they've ran their course for me. I don't want them no more. What I'm shocked about is they didn't put out a flashback bundle on flashback. What is this? Flashback Thursdays, whatever the call it is. They didn't put out a flashback bundle today. So I guess we're gonna pull a 14 pro pack bundle, baby. Let's do this. I would have loved to pull a flashback from the day, especially with my boy d wear Impacts, and maybe even an all-pro bundle. I could have easily made up an excuse to spend all my points today for that d wear but since my didn't care enough to put out a crazy bundle today, I guess we're going to get a crazy bundle tomorrow, and that's when I'm going to spend the points, you know? Because once again, d wears Impacts for 48 hours only, so even if we don't get them today, we could probably get them tomorrow, or at least we still got a chance at getting that beast d wear pull tomorrow, man. And who knows? He might fly a pro pack for you, boy, man. I've been a long Long-time D-Rare fan. Even when he went to the Broncos, I wasn't mad at him. He deserved it. He gave the Cowboys some good years. Jerry Jones is being cheap. It's crazy. The Cowboys let Demarcus Ware go, and then they wanted to bring in freaking Jared Allen, who wanted damn near more than D-Rare wants. And surprise, surprise, Jared Allen's retired while D-Rare is still bowling. Now, Jared Allen might be another Hall of Fame DN. Probably not first ballot, but you get the point. The Cowboys pretty much hold my boy Demarcus Ware. It was disgusting. Disgusting. Moving on, we got a Sean Hill, Dan Quinn, Dort Coder. Next up, Ladarius Green. Now, guys, one thing I want to talk about about playing these packs is the Cowboys QB situation. Dak Prescott, Tony Romo. Romo's back. Who's going to start? Everybody in the media is putting out messages. Jerry Jones said it's Romo's team. Dak Prescott said it's Romo's team. Well, guess what, guys? They're supposed to say that when your franchise player goes down, you don't say, oh, Hey, wow, you ice up, a rookie took the job, so take your time getting back. No, everybody wants to see Romo healthy, move it around. Health comes first, of course. And when Romo's back, honestly, I think it'd be crazy, 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 crazy to start Romo over Dak. Now, if Dak starts messing up, if Dak starts throwing picks, if Dak has a bad game, bad half, and we're not out the game, if they want to put in Romo, see what he can do. Hey, be great, have at it. But I think it's almost unfair to Dak. You know, Dak took this team, what, 3-1, and 4-1 one, and one without Romo? Even with Romo, I think we'd be lucky to be 4-1. and one. Just is what it is. To be honest, when Dez isn't playing, you can almost chalk it up as an L for Dallas, right? Oh, Romo didn't have Dez. They stacked the box. That's an L. Dak's slinging that thing around. Bryce Butler's playing good. Jason Witten still playing crazy good. Zeke's coming on, man. Like, the Cowboys are playing extremely well with Dak at QB. Then the defense is balling out, too. Maradelli got that ass defense <laughs> making plays, forcing fumbles, getting picks. I don't know if we've done any of that this year, but I know we made plays. It's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So, honestly, yeah. Everybody's laughing, ha ha ha, they're gonna start Romo again, but I doubt it, yo, I doubt it. I think, I think Romo's time in the Big D has probably come and going for better or worse. He had a great career, 
legendary Cowboys player, will he make the Hall of Fame? Ooh, is Romo a Hall of Fame QB? See, the Hall of Fame, I don't know. I don't like the uh, NFL Hall of Fame, to be honest. The, the, the NFL waits too long to put players in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Like, he's damn got to be dead to be in that pitch. Like, unless you just had an amazing career on and off the field, they're not going to put you in that Hall of Fame too soon. Like, Terrell Owens, he had a great career on the field, but off the field, you could say he was a distraction. You could say he messed up locker rooms. You could say the same for Brendan Ross when he retires. You could say the same for a lot of players in such a high testosterone-driven environment. I think they care too much about off the field nonsense than on the field numbers and stats, you know? But Romo, he kind of has both. You know, he hasn't really been a distraction off the field. He has good stats on the field, just no ring. And yeah, you can make it to the Hall of Fame with no ring as a QB, but man, no ring, no real playoff run. He had one playoff run his entire career. Entire career, he had one legit playoff run two or three years ago back with Miri. So I don't know, man, I don't know. I could easily see him going into the Hall of Fame second, third ballot. The first ballot, no way. First ballot is reserved for, I guess, the studs on and off the field. And Romo, the way he was good, I, I don't think he's first ballot. Now, d well on the other hand, he might be first ballot. He got him a ring. He was a beast for Dallas. Couldn't stay healthy. Ha had some injury issues, but who doesn't? It's football, baby. d well first ballot Hall of Famer, baby. Now, guys, I don't know how many pro packs. Oh, I don't know. I do know. This is the final pro pack. And I don't think we saw an elite. Through all these damn packs, <laughs> okay. All right, packs got to put it today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Flashback Deaver, impacts. Tony Romo, Dak Prescott, hey, amen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really don't. I, I can't. I can't imagine them starting Romo over Dak. You got to feel the hot hand. It's sports, baby. I'll see you guys in the next one. And also, we got a squad builder coming later today. Hopefully, I'll see you guys then, man. Take it easy, boys. Peace.